we're now 30 frames. Oh, what do you okay, so we're back yet? on. We that are? was a short Sweet. little clip. I mean, that was a short little commercial cool. that we took. Um, yeah. Just to drink some water. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jesus. Well, it wasn't water. Anyway, anyway Jesus, um, it was Jesus juice. Jesus. Well, we were talking about Jesus, we turned water into wine. So what do you think about that Michael Jackson Jesus juice thing, since we're on the topic of Christianity and religion? What do you think Jesus juice would consist of? Like awesome? Like awesome juice? You don't. <laughs> no. Like let's if, not talk about Jesus' yeah. awesome juice. <laughs> <laughs> and as Catholics, we know what the awesome juice consists of, and we have a piece of his body every week. Yeah, every Sunday. and wine. Nah. If you're a good you person, really have to hold the <laughs> And wine. <laughs> she's a <laughs> This is And she's a Christian. Anyway, um, go ahead. No, okay, with that. Okay, let, let's let's move on a little bit. Um, there's a Superman present. Let, let me talk a little bit about myself. <laughs> it's always about you. It's all, you know what, dude? Fine, go no. Ahead. You got your phone? We can um, text each other? Like, for, no. No. Oh, like no. for example, like I'm a Christian, right? But I don't like telling people that I'm a Christian because I know that I sin. I know that I do things that aren't Christian-like. So I don't like to put the name Christian, you know, with me because then people have the right to judge me. And then other people will be turned away from Christianity because they'll be like, well, she said she's a Christian, and she's telling me to be a Christian, and look at what she's doing. Oh, you feel hypocritical. Yeah, hypocritical, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys find yourselves um, seeing other people that call themselves Christian and then do stuff that they don't... I haven't I, I haven't really realized... Well, if it has happened, I haven't realized it. But then again, I haven't really been paying attention to it. But, I mean, if someone's a real douche, and they'll totally do one thing and do another thing. Sorry. Same thing. Even it's not Christian. Either. Well, some people like to go by the um, motto, do as you say, do as I say, not do as I do. It's kind of silly. Like, some Christians are hypocritical because, like, not even Christians, just people in general are hypocritical because they may do one thing and then say another. Or they may say one thing and do another. It really... <laughs> Sorry. So... I lost my train of thought. Thank you very much. Go ahead and go. What do you think about Mormons that go door to door? You know what? I ain't never I, had a problem with them. I really? actually, during the summer when I was at home and they would stop by, I would let them in my house. I would give them water and I would talk to them about faith because they really? knew that. Yeah, because I wasn't gonna change what I believed. I was, so, I was so a Catholic. Why, so why would you invite them in to go ahead and share their? Because it was hot, and I wanted to talk to them about it. I wanted them to not feel rejected by everybody that they go to someone's house. If they wanted to come in, I will feed them water. If they want to talk to me about faith, we can. If they want to talk to me about sports, we could. It didn't matter. I just wanted to make sure that they were hydrated before they went back door to door. <laughs> what? You know, I was a mother. That, good bottle of water. That says a lot about you, too. Because, I mean, it means that you, your beliefs are so set on that you don't, you appreciate a good challenge. You appreciate other people telling you their ideas. I don't see it as a challenge. It was just a conversation. I wasn't being challenged by them. They weren't aggressive with me. We were having a conversation. They believed one thing that I don't. Yeah, exactly. But they and didn't believe okay the thing. Uh, whatever. It doesn't bother me. It never bothers me. Like, mm -hmm. I... Like, it's the same thing with movies, because I'm really into movies. If no one likes the one movie I like, that's not a big deal. I don't care. Yeah. But, and I know faith in movies are completely different, but I am very confident in what I believe, and if somebody doesn't believe it, but they're okay with it, that's great. Like, I'm all for people having their own opinion, hence why we're in journalism. Yeah. I'm all for people having an opinion, but I can't say your opinion's wrong, because yeah. it's an opinion. Yeah, I, 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 I honestly, I do really feel bad. Like, like, honestly, if I see people on bikes, like, as horrible as it sounds, like oh, there's a Mormon, like it, because you know Mormons and bikes and ties. I mean, I mean, it's 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 the same getup, and it's like okay, they're coming to the front door. Let's not answer the door. I'll, I'll be honest, like oh, they're coming. I'm not going. I mean, not that I disrespect their religion, or I just I just like you're like if you're like you're imposing. It's, it's yeah. really it comes off as imposing. And See, mm -hmm. I don't disrespect their religion. I just uh, maybe I just disagree with the way that it's it's approached. See, I have a bigger problem with people who sell magazines. <laughs> Because they're more aggressive. Because they're coming from yeah. like it's okay, just like right. really. But I think I've never had like, a magazine subscriber. Really, I don't want. I don't Although want to succeed. I, I had those four, vibe. I, had I don't need them. <laughs> I've had all those foreign exchange students come up to my door though. Oh really? And say I'm from like Colombia or something, and I need you to help me buy like books or something. Uh, did okay. you do it? My parents did. Mm, so. Actually, my parents were home, so I was like, come back at 6 o'clock when they're home. And my mom calls me on the phone. She goes, did you just tell someone to come back? <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. She's an exchange student. And then they end up buying, like, a set of books, like, encyclopedias. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you use them? No, I have online for them. But. <laughs> I have Wikipedia for them. <laughs> Don't let your Thanks professors hear you say that. No, I'm just kidding. This is no. the only no, no, I, I want to. Uh, Next topic? But, um, or do you want to continue? No, Let's do something no, fun. I have, I, have a, I have a story. Can okay, go ahead. Story? Can you let her tell okay. a story? I'm nothing. About, you know what? I think we're done with our special guest. Let's give about, a break. No, I, have a story, I have a story about door to door. <laughs> okay. Door okay, to door. so I've lived in the same place 
pretty much all my, like 20 years, oh, right? Um, She's and then 20 years. I'm 22. I mean, it's good. But, uh, it's so three technically years. 19 years. Oh, anyway. <laughs> what? Three years. Go ahead. But anyway, <laughs> a church opened up in the corner of, of where I live, you know, like, Oh, yeah. In the corner, yeah. I was by a Mac so, um, <laughs> my mom ended up going there because it's a Spanish Christian church, right? Nancy and she's like, okay, you know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> actually, before that, there would be people that would um, come to our door that were from that church, I guess. And, you know, we wouldn't open the door for them. And, I w- you know, like, it's just something that I always learned, you know, like, don't open the door for strangers. So I thought, okay, they're strangers, let's not open the door for them, you know? Because, I don't know, it could be anybody disguised. Or anyway, other topic. But, um, so I went to that church, and then they ended up having people do, you know, go around and go to houses. And so I ended up going once, and I felt so bad because I knew exactly how it felt for people not to open the door when you're trying to, like, give them a message. So, yeah, I was along with that, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I learned my lesson the hard way, you know? And now I do open the door, and if if it's another religion, I do take their little pamphlet, and I'm like, thank you, you know? See, when I open the door, like, I'm, I'm not as bad. Like, I, I just either don't answer it or I just politely say, okay, not right now, like, or something. Mm-hmm. But my dad will get extreme. Like, I think, I think they, like, like, when you shut the door, like, they, they left, like, a Bible or they left something on the door and my dad was like, no. Mm-hmm. And I guess he ended up throwing it back at them. Oh, wow. No lie. And he's like, I just told you no, like, politely. Like, now, now, you're, now you're just, like, feeding some kind of fire. And now, you know what? I was nice to you, now bam. They were littering on your Let's property. They were. I, I, I guess would that be rude? Well, I, I guess yeah, it would be rude. But I mean, but would it be rude of them to go ahead and not respect our beliefs or our? Yeah, yeah that's on them. Become pushing, yeah. yeah, no, like if you right? say hey, no, we're had, good. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like if you say hey, no, we're good. Mm-hmm. I just want to, you know, you know, let's just let's just call it, let's call it spade a spade and just let it go. Or but they keep on going. That, that's the thing that that's gets the thing me. that irritates it's me. Like, but at that you point, you keep on going. It's like no. See, I've done, I've dealt with that before, and I said God would want you to stop because <laughs> you're not helping your mission, and then that usually shuts them up. Yeah, because you're happened twice. you're pushing them away from the religion. Yeah, you know? Like, Bad vibes. Because yeah. I, I believe that everything Boy. comes in, Boy. everything comes at a time, you know? If you're meant to be saved at a certain time, then it's going to come to you, you know? Like, I wasn't expecting to be saved when I was saved, and it just came to me, you know? And, and it was, like, a surprising experience and something that, you know, like, that I love the experience, but I, I think that everybody gets it at their own time when they need it, you but know? But do, do you think how, do you think how, do you, like, the way you just said, like, I, I just got saved, do you think someone will be turned off by the way you just said that? Like, I got saved. Because I'm part it's, of the, I'm part it's of the, the terminology. I mean, because right? I, I think mean, that's I'm what not, turns people away. I don't like saying oh, I'm like, going to heaven, you're going to hell, because that's a total turnoff. You yeah. know, it's or, like, or, 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 wait, like, you're But when you say me? you're saved, that insinuates that we haven't been and that we're just yeah, floating or, here without a life. Exactly. Exactly. Or like, or, so you're saying we're, we're not saved. Yeah. Or, or can, I, we're not, can you do me a favor? Can I pray for you? It's like, it's, Really? Yeah, I've had that happen. Have you ever been? Yeah. I mean, I've said that. Really, you don't want to do that. I mean, I mean, yeah. I've had people say, "I'll pray for you after my mom died." I was like, "Well, you could. It really would have helped before she passed away. That would have been fantastic." Like you can pray every day. Like you, like you need a reason to. I mean, maybe I mean contradicting on myself, but I mean, I guess I can see both kind of standpoints, especially because I'm not like following as hardcore as I was when I went eight years back to school. Yeah. But I mean, life happens. Exactly, life happens, and people change, and situations change, you know? I mean, today you guys might be talking this way, like, oh, so saved, you're saying that you're better than me, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, and like... I didn't say that, I said that I could see how someone could take that. Yeah, but in, let's say in two to three years, like, somebody approaches it to you, and you totally see it a different way, and you feel it a different way, then you'll change your mind. You know, I was a total skeptic. I was, like, not even... Like, I, like I was, saved. Yeah, saved. exactly. Calm down, right? Like, like, because I, I live this There's all the time. Down. Like, my my mom and dad, they always bicker about religion. Because <laughs> my mom, she's totally religious, and my dad, he's you know a non-believer, and and so like it's always a constant you know like talk about religion, religion, religion. And I can see my dad's point, and I can see my mom's point, you know, and and both points are valid. It's just the way that you take it in, you know, the timing. It's totally the timing. In my opinion. Okay. And I respect your opinion. Thank See? you. But but I, I respect it. But can I pray for you? You can totally pray for me. But can I pray for you for a different uh, gesture? I'm sorry, we're Catholic. Can we light a candle for you? Yeah, light a candle <laughs> for me. Well, I mean, how is that? I'm sorry, but how is that offensive to you? <laughs> I mean, it's, I, mean it's, I know. But someone who's, I mean, that. It, I mean, if I.